It's just so, uh, it's got to run. I ran six miles today. Um, went hard today, man. Not gonna lie. I'm definitely gonna feel it tomorrow, but it's part of the grind, man. I mean, you know, the good thing is you get to start, start again tomorrow. You know what I mean? And if you didn't hit it hard today, today is in the past, tomorrow. So you just have to stay in the present moment the next day and say, okay, today I'm gonna get it done. Don't worry about what you didn't do yesterday. Just kind of get it done, you know? Because one thing about success, one thing about achieving your dream body or, you know, working towards it, you can't cheat it. You can't cheat it. You can cheat with money, you can steal, you can do all these other things. But one thing you cannot do is cheat your body. Some people get lipo and you might say, well, that's a way of cheating. If you want that dream body, you're going to have to work hard for it. And nobody can do it for you. And that's the thing about it. It's going to take discipline. A day after day after day, making a conscious effort, not only to hit a heart, whether you're swimming, biking, uh, running, jogging, any type of, you know, cardio, anything like that. Also in the gym, every day you have to hit it hard. You know what I mean? Because again, nobody's going to do it for you. That's what I love about it. You know, it shows, cool thing about like, you know, when you do reach that, that goal is you're so proud because nobody can take that away from you. You know what I mean? Your health is is number one. For me, number one is health. Over money, over prestige, over social media. Health is my number one goal. And it's not even like, a, okay, to live to 105 or something like that. It's just because I understand where I came from. And I understand now it's about maintaining that. You know, for me, reaching my goal, my goals, you know, and it shows that you're disciplined. I think that's the thing. It's like so many people today. I'm just being honest. I'm Again, I've come from that world. So I'm only speaking from my experience from what I see. I see that others want that, but they're not willing to sacrifice. They're not willing to sacrifice, not stand up, you know, to... 11, 12, 1 a.m. and actually getting sleep because sleep is important for your body. I'm willing to sacrifice to stop eating pizza late at night, to stop eating all these, you know, sugary carbs. You know what I'm saying? It just takes discipline. Again, not only in the cardio and the workout side, but, you know, in the in the health side and making a conscious choice. Okay, you know what? It's not even going cold turkey. It's cutting back. When I first started, I, I cut back, you know, going plant-based, I was Pescatarian just eating seafood, but even then I was just cutting back. You know, if I ate, if I ate, uh, just say five snacks in a week, five different snacks, whether it's pop tarts, whether it's different breads, whether it's uh, donuts, whatever it might be, I made a conscious effort. Okay, I have five snacks a week. Let me cut back to three, right? And that worked for me. I slowly started to cut back, drink more water. Okay, I had. Two Cokes, you know, this week, I'm gonna cut it to one. I'm gonna drink 80% water. And so that, that worked for me. So I'm just, I'm just at a point now where, you know, it's about staying consistent and staying disciplined. You have to discipline yourself. How many times have you looked in the mirror and you say, you know what, I'm gonna discipline myself because nobody can do it for me. And that's what it takes. I just want to encourage you. Forget about how you look, forget about, Oh, they see me running like this. Oh, they see me. You at a party and everybody drinking and or everybody's eating this. And you're like, no, no, I'll, I'm going to discipline myself. No, um, give me the healthier alternative. And I did that. You know how many times I went out with my family? How many times I went out with friends and they got upset because they were eating certain thing or they ordered something. And I was like, I'm sorry, but I just I didn't even apologize. I, I, I refuse to allow myself to have that. Now, of course. Don't get it twisted. Of course, some days I have, I don't like the word cheat meals. I have pleasure meals, I'll say. Of course, everyone does. Even Dwayne Johnson has pleasure meals on Sundays. So again, don't get it twisted. But what I'm saying is you make that conscious effort, especially in the beginning. See, I think the pleasure meals is for when you get closer to that goal. Okay, I'm going to have it. I'm going to have one pleasure meal a week or two. I would just say one, but. You see what I mean? Luckily, I have not only lost the weight, but I've kept it off for a total of, I started my journey uh, October of 2020. So 
it's been about two and a half years at this point and man you know it's like that like i can i can remember from the start but it's, it's been like that and i want you to be practical about it i understand nobody's going cold turkey you know if you do more power to you but i just want you to take the baby steps you know you realize the baby steps turn into the bigger steps being honest um in the most simplistic way i can say you take that leap okay i'm going to walk 30 minutes every day for a week all right say and, and, and again you want to start small don't go hard in it like that start small baby steps okay you do that for a couple weeks or you do it for a month okay. next month i'm gonna set a goal i'm gonna walk two miles i'm gonna walk two to three miles a week you know that's starting small and so those those things adds up and so you see in six months oh you don't lost 35 pounds you look slimmer you feel healthier you're getting more sleep your skin looks better those are the benefits that you have when you start taking care of your body. Because on TV and all these social media platforms, every single day it's a eat, 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 eat. And it's not just the eat, it's the they're promoting this stuff. It's not only GMO foods that they're promoting, they're promoting foods that cause cancer. One of the reasons why I, and again, this is personal to me, I am not advocating for anybody to try it. Never have I advocated for anybody to try it. But that's one of the reasons I stopped eating meat was because, you know, just to be honest, my, my father, my father, my father passed away when when I was, it was just in high school, um, it was, it was about, actually, it was in July of 2013. I had just had my ring ceremony. I was, I was in my junior year in high school and he passed away from cancer on that summer and he had cancer he had pancreatic cancer and i'm not just solely contributing that to meat however he did eat a ton of meat um a lot of processed foods a lot of carcinogenic foods um hot dogs bologna pork things like that and so it really tore me apart i'm just going to be honest with you guys you know i that really shook my world because again, my father was like, man, if I can count on, if I couldn't count on anybody else, I could count on him. And he was someone that I was just proud to call my dad. Hardest working man I've ever known. But again, had a lot of me. And so when I start to see my, when I start to really take pictures of myself, and I take a picture of my shirt off and I really looked at myself. I'm like, man, like not only do I owe it to myself, but I owe it to my dad. I need to be in better shape. I need to be in better health. So I went plant-based. I mean, I went uh, pescatarian and I said, you know what? I'm giving up the beef, the hot dog. I'm giving them all that because I know I had watched uh, documentaries on Netflix about uh, the different ways that the industry puts hormones and GMOs and different stuff into bacon and all this other stuff. So I stopped. I went cold turkey. Um, I quit because it was hard. You, know, you, have to under you have to understand, going from, and I'm just being real with you, going from eating meat your entire life to just cutting it off like that is hard. It's one of the hardest things you will ever do. It's difficult. It's not easy. And I can't even lie to you guys. It's not easy. But again, the baby steps. And so again, I gave up. I gave up meat and I started to become more conscious. I started working at a health food store. I was eating salad every day. I lived about a 20 minute walk to my job, to my apartment. So 
Uh, when I got off, I would walk to my apartment. I was catching the bus more. I was being more active, you know, uh, consciously. And so I just, I'm just at a place now where my health matters to me more than anything. And I encourage you, whoever's listening, who's ever watching, to start right now. You will never find the perfect time to start. And a lot of people, oh, when I get this, I'm, I'm going to do it. No, not no tomorrow. Anything you put out tomorrow, 10 out of 10, you probably won't start. I want to encourage you to just start. I'm not saying to go straight to the gym. I'm not saying to go straight, run five, 10 miles. What I'm saying is to start small, make the conscious efforts with your eating habits, right? And when you get the eating habits under control, if you want to start some type of cardio, walking, jogging, swimming, running, biking, anything like, anything like that, then that's okay. But if not, just at least start to make conscious health decisions. And you'll find that not only will your skin be better, you'll get better sleep. You'll wake up feeling refreshed. You'll have more energy to play with your family, your kids, your dog, whoever, your, your spouse, girlfriend. You'll have more energy. You'll look better. You'll feel better. And, you know, you'll be healthier. And so... I just wanted to tell you guys that. I just wanted to have a heart to heart and let you know that I'm rooting for you. I am. If nobody tells you that, I'm rooting for you because I know that it's possible. I'm living proof that it's possible. When I first started, again, my family would look at me like, I'm going to barbecues and stuff and everybody's eating and again, I'm not judging. I don't want you to think that I'm judging them. But everybody's eating barbecue. Everybody's eating meat. And that's okay. But they would always laugh at me and say, oh, you want grass. Because I was planting, but, you know, you want grass. Or you want some roasted celery or roasted lettuce. You know, things like that. And I'd be the butt of the joke. But now that I'm at a point where I'm physically fit, it's changed. Now I notice when I go around people, they and I appreciate them. I, I, I appreciate the people who, you know, are are comforting to me when I go around them. Hey, Mac, um, where do you want to go as far as food? You know, I know that you eat this. Like, you want to go here? You know, more accommodating to me, and I really appreciate that. But my family, you know, uh, now it's at a point where they're asking me, "How did I do? How did I take that first step? How did I lose the weight? How did I, you know?" Um, and it's just funny how things circle back around. But not to get off topic, I just, again, you got it. Start small. And, you know, I love you guys. I really appreciate you for watching. If you made it this far, I ask that you subscribe, like this video, share it, because I do want to help other people. Uh, potentially one day, I can become a, a vegan bodybuilder and start uh, helping others. But... I just want to share that message with you and you know hopefully you found something useful where you can bring into incorporate into your everyday life and like this video leave a comment below if this video did help you or you found something useful mix b signing out love you guys and of course i'll see you in the next one peace